Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today in our wrap vlog, we are going to be doing work on this color change for a 2017 Kia Optima DX sedan you see right here. I'm gonna hand it over to Jason so he can tell you guys a little bit of what we're gonna do today and then we'll go from there. So tell him what's up, Jason. Yeah, so uh, first things first, we're gonna be wiping down the entire car. The plan today is that we're gonna be wrapping the hood. So yeah guys, so we're gonna be starting working on this 2017 Kia Optima and prepping it before we do the hood wrap and make sure you guys like share and subscribe to our youtube channel at firm 400 make sure you guys follow jason his ig handles we'll post that right here in this video stay tuned for more on this wrap vlog on this 2017 kia optima stay tuned guys So Jason is wiping down the hood right now, uh, getting it prepped so that we can have it ready before we start any wrapping on the vehicle. And we will let you guys know what the color change will be. So let's get to it. So what are we doing first of all? Yeah, so we're just wiping down the hood. We're gonna be doing the hood first. And then uh, we're gonna wrap this piece first. So we'll probably knock that out after lunch, but uh, we're gonna try to do this before lunch. So we're making sure we're wiping down every end of the hood, as you can see, making sure that all the dust particles, any type of dirt that may end up on the vinyl that we do not want to end up on the vinyl. We wanna make sure every part of the hood is clean so that way we can have proper tucking and that way the material sticks on properly to the surface of the vehicle. As you saw, we wiped down the top, but that's actually uh, only half of it. The most important part is actually this under part. It's really dirty and everything, but but where we're focusing on is this edge, because this is where the wrap will come around and it'll hug right here. So if this is not clean right here, you'll have edge failure. So what we got, bro? Yeah, so we just, uh, we're trying out some new um, tucking tools in addition to what we normally use. But this rounded one I'm thinking is probably gonna be really good for um, for the windshield. Whenever we gotta tuck, uh, like the roof wrap, you know, between the seal um, of the windshield and the, and the roof. So this will make it a lot easier. So traditionally, this is what we use. Uh, this is the wrap stick. It's a great tool, but specifically for the seal, when you're um, when you're tucking and you're sliding along with it, um, it's got such a fine edge that um, it can cut the vinyl. So this is what we're gonna be trying today. That way, instead of um, when you're tucking, instead of like sliding over, this is a like a rolling over, so you don't um, accidentally. Uh, cut the the wrap but other than that this is this is what we're going to be using today this is from 3m it is their new uh 2080 series this kia is going to be wrapped in this uh 3m military green this is what the customer wanted it seems like it's a very popular color right now we uh tried to get uh a, a, another brand and they were sold out back ordered so we we are we're trying uh 3m today we haven't tried 3M, per, or I haven't tried 3M. I haven't personally used it. I've uh, done a little research and it's, um, you know, just like the other one, um, pretty much industry standard, uh, really, you know, really good at wrapping and, and removal. Uh, but 
as with all films, they ha they have a little bit different of uh, the backing and everything. So I'm gonna find out today, you know, if it's more stretchy, less stretchy, and how much heat we can actually use. Uh, that's kind of the things that you have to learn when you're using a different wrap. All right, guys. So we just revealed the new color change for this Kia Optima. It's a 2080 series film from 3M, and it's the military green color for this 2017 Kia Optima. So the customer requested the military green and we're now going to prep and wrap the hood of the Kia Optima first for today. So let's get to it. Throw some measurements bro. Yeah, so right now we're cutting off for the hood. Uh, ideally you always, if you use the measuring uh, tool, you'll actually um, save a little bit on the wrap just because you know you're not wasting anything yeah so there you go guys the 3m series 2080 wrap film it's the military green color right here that we will be doing the color change on this 2017 kia optima ex sedan so jason just cut the film right now so we have it cut and measured to the sizing of the hood. How is it like working on the material, bro? Yeah, so um, it looks like the initial tack, which is like, you know, you place it on the vehicle and if it sticks like right away or not, it seems like the tack is lower. So um, initially we just placed it down, you know, uh, pushed it down with our hands and um, you, you were still able to lift it off uh, really easily. So that's a little bit different. And then other than that, like um, when you do push it down, you, you get a lot of these uh little like air bubbles or whatever but the air release is really good so even though this is like different from the other brand it comes out though like you get all those like little air bubbles but they do come out
um, we just finished wrapping the hood. Uh, this was my first experience with uh, 3M and their new uh, 2080 line. First things first, the tack, uh, tackiness of it is on the lower side. So as soon as it touches the paint, it doesn't like automatically stick to it. There's actually, so you can move it around, especially like uh, what I can tell, probably like big panels, maybe like big trucks or like a really uh, long roof, maybe like a wagon or SUV, like this would be great for it. When you first put it down and you start smoothing it, it out and all that stuff, you'll see like a lot of like little bubbles and stuff, just little air bubbles. But the air release on this thing is amazing. Um, there was a little spot on that side. So it's just this little spine right here that uh, I missed. And you know, you, it, all that air collected became like a really big bubble, but amazingly, it just worked its way out. Like we didn't have to go to the edge, we didn't have to relift. So, uh, so far this is the best air release I've used.